Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you happen to be new around here, my name is Trevor and this is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to hit subscribe and click on the bell to follow along on our Japanese adventures. Yes, today might be a little bit daunting. We are taking the bullet train from Osaka all the way to Tokyo. So far, transportation has not been the easiest, so we'll see how this goes. Today is one of those rare days where you get to see everything that we travel with. And yes, we travel full time. I have a suitcase, just carry on size, although it's expanded at the moment. We are going on a train, and this is my backpack. Here's everything I have as well. I have my bag expanded, and I have my backpack on also expanded. So now you guys can see how light we do travel. So before we get on this train, we're going to have to find some food. From my understanding, I think you can buy a few things on the train, but I'm not sure exactly what. So we're going to go and get some lunch to bring with us that we can eat on the train conveniently. Here in Japan, they have lots of convenience stores. Family Mart, uh, Lawson's, and 7-Eleven. You see pretty much everywhere, and they're definitely not the same kind of convenience stores we have back home in North America. They have like everything here. So let's go inside. All right, here we are. We're on the hunt for some sandwiches. Look at this, guys. You can even see there's like sushi. There's different rice bowls of kind of sushi cakes, I think. Lots yeah, of different Yeah, I forget things. what those are. People get those all the time, I see. But like, they have everything. They have stuff that you can like bring home and heat up. We're not gonna do that because we're on a train. So I think we're gonna go for sandwiches if we can find some. Found something I think pretty easy, just an easy to eat sandwich. This one is ham and cucumber. They have lots of options. I also love that they have little like coffee snacks, <laughs> two veggies and dip there. I know, the thing is we don't want something too heavy today, right? No, and something easy to eat while we're sitting on a train, which might not be so simple. So the first thing we gotta do today is actually find the metro. We have to catch another train before we get to the main bullet train. So that's why we left a little bit early to give ourselves uh, time here. Well, we think we found the entrance here, huh? One of them. <laughs> One of them, yeah, we got our bags. And uh, oh, there's another set of stairs. <laughs> it is like a whole other world down here, isn't it? It really is. There's all these different lines, different shops. I feel like you could like spend ages just underground. Here. See if this works. Okay. These cards are coming in handy though. Oh, that's my bad. <laughs> Let's see if I can get through. There we go. Yeah, it tells you your balance right there. <laughs> All right, we're in. We're in. One step. One. Yeah. One. <laughs> well, step. we have to find the train now. Yeah. <laughs> train on platform two. It is bound for Shin. Step one down. We uh, made it to the main station. It's called uh, Shin. Shinkansen, Shinkansen, am I saying yeah, it right? Shinkansen is actually the type of train that we're ah. They're the bullet trains are called Shinkansen. So we are in the Shin Shinosaka station. Ah, okay, it was so loud on the train I couldn't make it out. But there's, uh, there's a lot of folks in here, you guys. Look at this, if I go this way. So yeah, now we have to figure out where the train is and which way we should possibly go here. So we're just eyeing the board here, trying to figure out which train is ours and from which platform does it leave. I think I figured it out. I actually bought our tickets the other way, other day, by the way, uh, a few days ago. I think you probably could buy them on the same day as long as it's not like super crazy day. Let's see how these work. Okay, they feed through. Well, we found our track and that was surprisingly easy, almost too easy. I just expected there to be lots of issues. Hopefully I didn't just jinx anything. This is our track here, but not our train. We're a little bit early because we did try to account for any like major problems we had. There's so many announcements happening here, but we're getting our first glimpse of the bullet trains. Look at these two. They're humongous, huh? Yeah, and there's a m tons of uh, different cars. I think there's like, I think I counted 16 on one of them. So we booked a Nozami train, which I understand is the fastest train that you can take to get to Tokyo. I also think if you have a JR pass, you can't use those trains, but I could be wrong about that. You should look it up yourself. So on these trains, there are three types of tickets. There's a non-reserve, which are the cheapest. Ooh, look at that train go behind me. <laughs> there are ordinary tickets, which is uh, what we went for. And there is a business class train as well. We were tempted with the business, but... Yeah, I actually watched some other people's videos and most people say you just get a little bit more space, but yeah. there's apparently space in the ordinary seats. So most people say it's not really worth the extra money. Speaking of money, we paid about 30,000 yen for the two of us, so about 15,000 each. That's about 150 per person Canadian, which I guess would be about 120 Canadian per person. Yeah, it's or like, US, sorry. Do you think, person. is that more than you thought? 
coming it's in here. It's expensive, but it's, not it's, cheap. it's also like really far. To save some money, you can get a rail pass, but I think you have to order it from home and get it shipped to you before you leave for Japan. That's great for people that are coming on a one once in a lifetime trip to Japan and you're coming from home. We travel full time, so it just didn't work out. We didn't know where to get it shipped to. I think if you're taking a whole bunch of different trains, it makes the most sense to get a rail pass, but if you're only taking one or maybe two, it might not make as much sense. We're really starting to understand why people say Japan is so organized. You can see these signs here right where our train's coming. It actually says the car number. Now, we don't see that a lot on our travels, and we've been all around Europe, to be honest. Only a handful of times have we like kind of seen our car number before we got on a giant train like we're about to. So this is great. It's been really pleasant. We expected so much to go wrong here. So let's, well, let's see what happens when we get on the train. All right, here we go. The train is here already. <laughs> Just like that. All right. Well, this is going to do. Pretty nice. What do you think? Yeah, not bad. Yeah. All right, the seats are pretty comfy. You can see uh, we got a little bit of leg room here. It's not so bad. Not too bad, considering we have like our big backpacks <laughs> down at our feet. Yeah, no, I do wonder. There's empty seats now, but we're about 10 minutes early. So you think it'll fill up? Maybe, but we also might stop along the way too. So we're already cruising along here. Just look how fast <laughs> this is going. So these trains can go up to 320 kilometers an hour. That is definitely the fastest train we've ever been on and in fact they are the fastest trains in the entire world. We're just uh, pulling up here to Kyoto now. It's another big town here, big city. Yeah, one of the most popular cities in the whole country, especially it's like the cultural kind of capital of of Japan. We had planned on coming here just for a day trip, but in hindsight we just didn't have enough time here. We only have a limited number of days in Japan in total, and I felt like it was going to be a little bit of a tease to go to Kyoto for just a few hours. It's probably one of the top places I want to go to here in Japan, so we'll come on, an, on the next trip and spend a few days there at least. And if you're wondering why we're being a little bit quiet, it's just really quiet on this train, <laughs> so we don't want to like disturb anybody, you know? I thought I'd come in here and show you guys uh, the bathroom, so it's very small. There's a little sink there. You have a toilet. Not really, not really much else. There's also, uh, I don't notice any soap, so yeah. There's also another, uh, yeah, urinal room here just for men, but it has a window. That's weird. Oh, and here's the sink. So yeah, there is a sink with uh, some soap after all. Lunchtime, let's see if our little sandwich is any good. Good for a few dollars. Sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, if you are wondering, there is free Wi-Fi on the board. You just have to register with your email address. It only takes a second. It seems to work okay, except for when we go through tunnels. But that's to be expected. But so far, so good. later and we have arrived here in Tokyo that was really easy it was really smooth it was very quiet on the train as well I didn't get to capture with the camera but there's even like a cart service like they come around with food and drinks but now we're in Tokyo I think we're at the main station lots of people around this is a big city so just in case you are wondering this city is actually the largest city in the world by population I don't know why I didn't know that fact until we looked it up recently if you had to ask me to guess I probably would have said somewhere in like India or Pakistan. <laughs> but we did uh, find our neighborhood. So it's pretty quiet, pretty tame. It's gonna be a wild ride while we're here. We're gonna be filming more videos, but I think the plan is now to find our hotel and then uh, show you guys a room. Cause I know you liked it last time. The very small rooms here in all of Japan, probably Tokyo as well. There's literally no shortage in <laughs> vending machines. They are all <laughs> over the place. Yeah, we did uh, find our place though straight ahead looks like a cool building it's that little tiny sign i don't think they can see it back there it's called hotel riz vigilio akasaka riz. yeah Is that something it? like that <laughs> here we go here's the room welcome to <laughs> our huge room <laughs> it's not very big that's okay. for sure here i can't decide if it's bigger or smaller <laughs> than our last room in osaka what do we think um it's hard to tell what the camera makes of this. Is it like making it bigger or not? The bed is in the middle of the room. That's new. That's interesting. I don't know if I've ever had that before. 
four. There's a TV there, a small little store space. The bathroom runs all in one, the other side, and it has windows, and I haven't even figured where's, out. Where's, yeah, where's the toilet? Oh, it's in there. Right there. Interesting. So you can, no, well, I guess you can't see each other doing your business. <laughs> well, there is a blind there, I'm pretty sure. Okay, gotcha. And then on this side, yeah, so the shower is over here. There is a little uh, desk area, so that's that's a plus. It's a cool space. Is there a fridge? Yes, can confirm. There is a little fridge in there. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be we're gonna be all set up here. I do like the decor. It's black, some yeah, wood. It's kind of fun. It's funky. It's modern. I like it. I just don't know if we can open that window. Yeah. So if you're wondering how much this uh, little tiny room costs, now we aren't a good neighborhood in Tokyo, that's for sure, but. It it was about one hundred and thirty dollars a night. One forty USD a night. So we we're spending four nights here. This is probably the most expensive place for staying. <laughs> yeah. For some people, I know if you travel Ooh. not very often and you go on your once a year vacation, that probably doesn't sound like very much money. But when you're traveling full time, that's a lot. Just to put it into perspective, <laughs> like we were in like Vietnam and Saigon, Ho Chi Minh yeah. City, we were yeah. staying at places for about twenty dollars. A night. That were much bigger. That were bigger <laughs> and just as nice. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Japan. It ain't cheap, is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a crash course back into like, oh god, expensive countries. You gotta yeah. watch the budget, eat mm -hmm. sandwiches from 7 Elevens and <laughs> family marts. But anyway, if you're wondering what is coming up here in Tokyo, we believe we're gonna have two videos. We're running out of time. That's huh? the plan. We don't have much time, so we hope to do two videos here. <laughs> Next up, we'll be exploring. We're just gonna like figure out Tokyo. Yeah, it's gonna be Jump our, right in. It, yeah, that which we'll probably film tomorrow. So today we're just gonna relax the rest of the day, not see much of the city. After that, I'm sure we'll be eating more food oh, yeah. uh, before we leave this beautiful country. So I hope you guys are excited. We hope you enjoyed the travel day today. I know a lot of you have been asking for a travel day video. Instead of a plane this time, it was a bullet train. Mm -hmm. And uh, it lived up to the hype. It was fun. Yes. And by the way, I also meant to say, if you are interested in booking this hotel, I will put a link in the description below. So you don't need to message us and ask for it. It will be there. Okay. So if you're new around here, by the way, Trevor, Anna, Delightful Travelers, hit subscribe, click like, leave us a comment. All that just helps us out. Ooh, we got a person emptying garbage outside. <laughs> That's probably a sign to wrap things up, but we will see you very soon. We can't wait to explore more of this city. All right, guys, that's it. From Tokyo now, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.